Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Beach Club Resort, coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Disney's Beach Club Resort, where a touch of Disney meets New England style seaside cottages of the 19th century. Disney's Beach Club Resort is a beach themed deluxe resort at the Walt Disney World Resort. It's located in the Epcot Resort area next to a sister resort, Disney's Yacht Club Resort and across Crescent Lake from Disney's Boardwalk Resort. The Beach Club Villas on site are part of the Disney Vacation Club. Disney's Yacht Club Resort and Disney's Beach Club Resort and Villas share amenities. Disney's Beach Club Resort contains the Beach Club Villas, the Beach Club Resort, and Stormalong Bay on Crescent Lake. Over on the left-hand side is the Beach Club Villas. If we look up ahead, there's the solarium, and panning over to the right-hand side now, there's the main entrance to the lobby, and if we continue looking off to the right-hand side, here's a covered walkway that takes us all the way down to the Walt Disney World bus transportation. Before we go into the main entrance, let's follow the covered walkway located on our right-hand side all the way down to the bus stop. Bus service is provided to the Magic Kingdom, Disney's Animal Kingdom, Disney Springs, and the Disney water parks. Now let's head back to the main entrance of the lobby. And here's the Disney's Magical Express bus stop again, and just overhead is the portico with its large oversized chandeliers. But let's continue straight up ahead. Here we are at Disney's Beach Club Resort. We're just going to go through these double doors here into the lobby. Here in the lobby, there's a large oversized chandelier. Up ahead is registration and concierge, and just over to the right hand side is the main entrance of the double doors that we came through. And here's the front desk for check-in. And here's a nice sitting area for your family and friends to wait for you while you check in. And here's another look at the registration or concierge desk. And just on the opposite side is Bell Services. Here's another quick look at the lobby with its large vaulted ceilings. And here's another look at the Bell Services desk. If we were to go out these doors here, it'd take us to Stormalong Bay and Crescent Lake, but we'll come back to that later. Disney's Beach Club Resort has some recreational offerings like daily activities, the craft corner, and movie under the stars. Now let's head down this hallway here to the solarium. Over to the right hand side is the Beach Club Marketplace, but if we look just over to the left, Here's the solarium. Through these doors here is the solarium. Let's take a quick look at the solarium. Just up ahead are some double doors. If you go through that, it'll take you to the Disney's Magical Express bus stop. And here's another quick look at the solarium. And here are the double doors. They take you out to Disney's Beach Club Villas. Let's go outside. Down below and to the right is a solarium. Up ahead is the walkway that we came down, and just over to the left hand side is the Beach Club Marketplace. Up ahead is Disney's Magical Express bus stop, but if you look over to the right hand side, here's a quick look at the exterior elevation of the Disney's Beach Club Villas rooms. It's the Little Mermaid, posing with the Disney Vacation Club sign. Disney's Beach Club Villas, a Disney Vacation Club Resort. Now let's go inside the villas and take a look. Here's the atrium in the villas with its large oversized chandelier. Up ahead are the elevators. Over to the right hand side is a guest room hallway and just over here is the drawing room. Let's go through the double doors and see what's inside the drawing room. There's a sitting area so you can relax with your family and friends. There's also a pool table, a TV, and some additional sitting areas. Here's another look at another sitting area. 
But now let's head through the double doors and go over to the elevators. And there are the elevators. Let's go up. Let's push the button for the elevator. Let's go up to the second floor. And now we're on the second floor. And here's a quick look at the second floor's atrium. Down below on the left is the drawing room. And up ahead are the double doors we came through to come into the villas. And here's a balcony that overlooks the breezeway. There's the breezeway just below. Let's proceed here and go check out the interior guest room hallways. Here's the room door entry. And over to the right hand side, there's the room number plaque. Now that we've seen the interior guest room hallways here at the villas, let's head down to the Dunes Cove Pool. Follow me. Here we are at the Dunes Cove Pool with the villas just in the background. There's even a spa here at the Dunes Cove Pool. And here's another quick look at the Dunes Cove Pool with the restrooms just across the pool. Dunes Cove, please preserve the dunes. And here's some barbecues, a bench with an umbrella, and a patio table. Just through these pool doors here, and up ahead are some additional double doors that take us to the breezeway. Let's go check that out. Let's go through these double doors here into the breezeway. Overhead is a balcony that you can look down on the breezeway. And here's a nice oil painting of the villas. There's even a nice sitting area for your family and friends to wait for you while you're at the Dunes Cove Pool. The breezeway is adorned with nautical themed items. Let's head back into the atrium and swing over to the right hand side and go through those double doors. And here are those double doors. We're going to go down here and make a left and walk down this covered walkway. If we head this way, it'll take us to the transportation, storm along bay, lobby, gift shop, and restaurants. There's the walkway we just came down. If you look over to the right hand side, there's an additional pathway that takes you down to the International Gateway at Epcot. And here are some double doors that takes us to the Beach Club Marketplace. Let's go in and take a look. And here's the Beach Club Marketplace. Over on the left hand side is the Beach Club Marketplace quick service dining experience. Over to the right hand side are the register wraps. And if we continue looking over to the right hand side, here's the merchandise area. And here's the Beach Club Marketplace. Let's take a look at the menu items. Beach Club Marketplace has a dinner specialty, like a half roasted chicken dinner. And they also offer some additional entrees, like a foot long all beef chili cheese hot dog, a caprese sandwich, an Italian sandwich, and a pulled pork sandwich. They also offer quick grab and go and located just over to the right hand side is the refillable souvenir drink mug and soda station. Here's the mobile order pickup area. Here's the merchandise area and just over to the right hand side is package pickup. Let's go take a look and see if they have any resort specific merchandise. Beach Club Marketplace offers a vast array of resort exclusive merchandise. Let's see how much this cute shirt is. And it's $36.99. Beach Club Marketplace also offers some additional exclusive merchandise items. Here's this nice hat. Let's see how much it is. I could just see the tag there and it's $27.99. Now let's go up these steps and through the exit doors and catch an elevator. Now let's check out the interior guest room hallways here at the Beach Club. There's the Beach Club Marketplace up ahead. And just over to our left and right hand sides are the elevators. Let's hit the button for the second floor. There's also the Stone Harbor Club. It's the concierge level. But sadly, it's not available at the moment. I'm hoping it will reopen shortly. Here are the elevators that we just got off of. Over to the right hand side is a nice little sitting area. And let's proceed down this interior guest room hallway. Here's the room door entry and room number plaque. Now let's head back to the elevators, go down some steps to the ground level lobby. Here are the elevators again, but we're gonna go just around the corner and down those steps there. Here are the steps that we're gonna go down. There are the steps we just came down. 
Here are the doors that take us out to Stormalong Bay and Crescent Lake. But if we continue looking over to the right hand side, there's Cape May Cafe. Cape May Cafe is a table service dining experience that offers family style feast. Here's a look at the interior dining room. Let's take a look at the menu here at Cape May Cafe. Cape May Cafe dinner pricing is $42 per adult and $25 per child. It's a family style dinner with starters like breads and spreads and seasonal harvest salad. The entrees include seafood boil, the turf platter, lobster macaroni and cheese, and portobello steak or tofu platter. Here's another quick look at the dining room. Now let's head down this air-conditioned hallway to Martha's Vineyard. Here we are at Martha's Vineyard. Let's take a look at the menu and see what they have to offer. Martha's Vineyard offers specialty cocktails like a blood orange margarita, a spicy poblano margarita, and a paloma. And here's a quick look at Martha's Vineyard Lounge. And there's the bar. Behind me is Martha's Vineyard. We're gonna go through these double doors outside and check out the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. Just off in the distance is Stormalong Bay, but we'll see that in a moment. And here's the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. And here's another look at the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. Beaches and Cream Soda Shop has Sundays on the beach, like a kitchen sink that serves four, a Mickey and Minnie souvenir sinks, a classic banana split, a fudge mudslide, and a Snickers sundae. And here's a quick look at the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. And here's a jukebox. And here's another quick look at the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. And here's the Lafferty Place Arcade. At the moment, it's temporarily unavailable, but I'm hoping it will return shortly. If you look through the windows, you could just make out some arcade games. And here's Shipshape. It contains the massage, salon, and fitness center. If you look through the doors, you could just see the reception center here at Shipshape. And if you look through the windows, you could just make out the fitness equipment. Stormalong Bay. The main three acre pool complex that resembles a beachside water park with its sand bottom pools, a circular lazy river, waterfall, and the shipwreck. And here's the spa for the grown up explorers. And here's a look at Stormalong Bay with the shipwreck just off in the distance. There's even another spa. If we continue following this pathway here, it'll take us over to Disney's Yacht Club Resort. Here's another look at Stormalong Bay with the beach club in the background. Here's the white sand beaches of Crescent Lake with the dock and the friendship boat just off in the distance there. And here's the dock with the lighthouse at the end, which also doubles as a friendship launch. And here's a look at the friendship boat launch going over to the boardwalk or Epcot. Friendship boats over to the left hand side is the boardwalk in Epcot. Over to the right hand side is the Swan and Dolphin Hotel in Hollywood Studios. Here's a friendship boat now coming into dock. There's the shipwreck with the water slide entrance at the top. And here's another look at the friendship boat. Here's Crescent Lake with Disney's Boardwalk Resort in the background. We're on the dock now. Over on the right hand side are the white sand beaches of Crescent Lake and just up ahead is Hurricane Hanna's. Let's go check that out. Up ahead is Disney's Yacht Club Resort and just over to the right hand side is the Beach Club. Here we are at Hurricane Hanna's Waterside Bar and Grill and here's a quick look at the poolside bar. Let's take a look at the menu items. Hurricane Hanna's Waterside Bar and Grill has some entrees like a Greek salad, an Italian focaccia sandwich, a seafood roll, a turkey and Swiss sandwich, and a Caesar salad with chicken. Here's another look at the poolside bar. 
if you look carefully through the water at Stormalong Bay, you can see the sand covered bottom. There's the lazy river where you could just rest and relax. And there's the shipwreck again with the steps all the way up to the top of the water slide. Look at how tall this water slide is. It leads all the way down to Stormalong Bay. And there's where the water slide meets Stormalong Bay. Here's a fire pit for the cozy evenings, the white sand beaches of the Beach Club Resort, and Crescent Lake in the background. Here's the pathway that leads down to the shipwreck and the water slide. Let's go see that. Look at how long the line is for the water slide. Here's the shipwreck again with Crescent Lake in the background. There's also a water slide for the junior explorers. And here's the beach area used for movie under the stars. Check out these garden lake view suites at the beach club. And just off in the background is a courtyard. And up ahead now is a volleyball court. But we're gonna go take a look at the quiet pool just over here to the right hand side. Here we are at the quiet pool with the laundry and the restroom facilities just in the background. There's even another spa here for the grown up explorers. Here's another look at the quiet pool with the room balconies just up ahead. Just behind me is the quiet pool. But if we look up ahead, here's the white sand beach area of Crescent Lake. And if we follow the pathway down to the right hand side, it'll take us back to Stormalong Bay. And here's the walkway to the International Gateway at Epcot. It'll take us to the Epcot International Gateway, the Disney Skyliner, and the Friendship Boat Launch. Now let's head back to the lobby, the main entrance. There's the shipwreck again. If we look just over to the right hand side, there's Stormalong Bay. And here's a pathway that leads back up to the lobby. And here are the double doors that we saw earlier. Let's go inside and go back to the main entrance. And let's go through these double doors here. Now we're back inside the lobby. And we'll go through these double sets of double doors back outside to the portico. And we'll head off in this direction here. We're back. There's a time shift in the space-time continuum. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Beach Club Resort just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.